What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games we're going to be checking out Jupiter Hell one more time that just got a big update. This is like a really really cool roguelike. If you've never played it before I highly recommend it. This is basically the successor to Doom RL which is considered to be one of the better rapid play roguelikes of all time. Like if you're not really looking to go super in depth like Caves of Cud, you're not looking to go super crazy detailed like Tome and put like a hundred hours into a run. Jupiter Hell is the successor to Doom RL, which is a game that you could play in like under 10 minutes. And it was just a balls to the wall roguelike about blasting as many demons into shattered husks as you possibly could. So anyways, Jupiter Hell, we're going to be diving on in today, taking a look at the game, reminding you that it exists. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, I will have a link for you down below in the description. Aside from that, you can also find links to my social media, my Discord, my Twitch stream, both of which are very, very active, and I'm like always on there talking to people. So if you have any questions or anything else, you can hit me up on there and say what's up. I also ping it when I go live to stream so that you have the maximum chance of seeing me live. But let's play the game, shall we? All right, so we're going to play the regular game here. We're going to play on medium, which is where I tend to do best. Now we can play as the Marine. The Marine has an ability called Fury, which means that he can... I think it restores his HP and like increases his damage. I know it restores your HP, but I don't know what else it does. He's got a passive that makes it every time you go up an elevator, you get 10% health. And then he's also got for every 30 points of fury, you can channel your adrenaline and heal a bit. Convert a corner of your pain modifier, that's what it does. It lowers your pain meter so that your accuracy doesn't go down when you're shooting at enemies. There's the scout. So the scout has energy as his class resource. It regenerates when you open chests. It can overflow until you leave the level. Scouting ahead has revealed the location of all regular elevators, branch connections, and special levels are still hidden. You have two weapon slots instead of three compared to the marine. For 25 energy, you can activate stealth and go invisible for a couple of turns until you attack. And then you get a 100% crit chance while you're in there. He starts with a revolver and 44 ammo. Technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering. Techs utilize power as a class resource that regenerates by picking power orbs. Drop my mechanical or semi-mechanical enemies. It can overflow. Techs use any consumable twice as fast. And then, for a difficulty-dependent amount of power, you can activate a smoke screen that blocks sight around you. You can also dismantle modded items to randomly get back a mod. And he starts with three multi-tools. To keep things simple, we're going with the Marine today. We gotta decide on a name for him. I'm calling him Doom Guy in all caps. I don't really care about lawsuits. Bethesda can't hold me down. For all intents and purposes in my head cannon, this is Doom Guy. Something's gone wrong. Alright, you come back from a routine patrol of the Callisto Orbit. Your landing craft is shot down by automated defense systems. Something is wrong. Uh, this game controls with the arrow keys. You move around. Oh, somebody's opening doors. Uh, it does have a cover system. Yeah, I'm going to pop that open and kill that demon right there. You press the F key to fire. You can press T to manually target. There's a knife over here, so I'm going to reload real fast. There's a treasure chest over there. Oh, God, there's so many. Just, yeah, just lay down as much fire as humanly possible. Uh, I am going to blow my adrenaline right now to get my health back up. There we go. Give me the music. Yep, give me the raging out music. I need it. There we go. I'm going to scoop up all this loot real quick, too, because I feel like I've earned it. None of these pistols are going to be better than what we already have. There is a shotgun down here, though, that I think is worth considering. It's a single-shot tube shotgun. It's not, like, good, but it's not, like, bad. What do we got in the treasure chest? We've got a red key card. Over here we got some ammo, and we've got some chest armor. So that's going to be wonderful, because that's actually going to give us a little bit of damage mitigation, because believe you me, in this game you're definitely going to get shot a lot. There's no way around it. Grab the ammo off the ground right there. We'll come back down here and check that out. Apparently that was just an empty chest. I am going to pilfer all this ammo real fast, just to make sure we got a good stockpile for the future. We've got a map in the top left corner of the screen. At the bottom left, you can see our Marine's level, how much H or how much XP he needs to next level. That's the 8 TNL. We've got our health down there, which is 66 out of 100. Our Fury is at 14 out of 40. We have 19% dodge chance when we're sitting still. As you can see, if you sprint, it goes up higher and higher and higher, too. So, like, if you've got to cross, like, an open field, do it fast. Uh, looks like there's nothing else down on in here. What can we say about this soundtrack, dude? This game has, like, an absolutely rocking soundtrack. All right, so we'll take this on over here. I'm going to pop that bad boy open to get a heal, and then I'm going to pick up this med kit right here, too. I think we're at the end of the first level, though, so we got to go up to Callisto 2, or down to Callisto 2. I've never really clear on whether or not we're going, like, up or down. Yeah, that's a lot of explosive barrels. That worries me. 
Any bad guys around here? I don't see anybody. I think I hear something off to my left. I'm going to sweep these hallways first. Let's go this way. Hallways looking good. All right. Chances are our boy is in here. There he is. We got an imp. Okay. I'm going to get behind cover. We're going to wait for this guy to push up on me. Now, you see how the wall lit up right there? That means that I'm actually in cover. Uh, what I would recommend that they add to the game, what I would really, really like, is if you actually put yourself into a cover position against the object. That would be, like, the coolest way to do it is, like, when you first go behind it, you've only got, like, a small amount of cover, and then every turn you spend back there, it goes up. And so, like, the first turn, he'd just be behind it, like, leaning out. And then on the second turn, he would lean into it and then lean out. Oof, we've been fireballed. Feels bad, but we leveled up, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, a couple of skills that we can take here. We've got skilled. That makes our class traits better, so that's going to increase the potency of our fury. We've got Iron Man. That's going to give us more HP. We've got Furious, which is going to increase our fury capacity, thus giving us larger heals and more sustained fury mode. We can go with Hellrunner, which gives us a passive plus 10% to dodge, and then also increases our maximum dodge while we're sprinting by another 10%. Uh, we've got Son of a Gun. It recently increases our critical chance with SMGs and pistols. Uh, we've got ourselves Reloader over here, which is going to make us reload faster. Sustained Fire. Uh, consecutive shots from SMGs and Burst Fire weapons are going to give us a bonus to damage the longer we just like hold down the trigger. We've got Tough as Nails. That's going to give us a point of armor per level. We've got Rip and Tear. Uh, for generation on melee kills, Fury becomes a damage bonus. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we can get extra ammo in every box right there. I'm going to go with Hellrunner. That's like my favorite one. That's the one that I always try to go with. Nobody else around here. Let me reload real fast, too. I'm going to get down into cover. Pass a turn right there and then drop that demon right there. Got that guy. Let's drop him. Okay, healing crate. Take that. We've got overcharged health for right now and another med kit to play around with. Absolutely a great position to be in. Uh, nobody down and around over here. Maybe inside this room. Oof, that room is a mess. I'm going to go ahead and detonate this room right here. Yeah, I was going to say, there's like legitimately no reason to leave that room as stocked as it is with just random impediments. All right, I'm going to bypass my turn right here and wait and see if that other Marine steps forward. He did not. Is he down? Oh, he's down. Nice. Oh, okay. We just took a bunch of damage right there. Not great, but there's a 44 hunting rifle right here. Uh, I don't know if I want it. I'm not a big fan of the 44. Uh, what do we have going on over here? We got body armor and a helmet. There we go. Throw that on there. What are you? All right. So the Jovisec Hello System 9.6. Copyright, let's see here, Omnicorp. We can access the recon module. We can unlock a security vault. Uh, yeah, let's unlock a security vault. And then in recon, it looks like there are exits here. Oh, I need a multi-tool to reveal the map. Okay, I don't have that. I don't know where our security vault is at, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to go look for it. There we go. Drop both those dudes. Be a couple. Oh, God. Okay. So apparently somebody lit up something inside that room right there. I don't know precisely what, but I'm glad that I wasn't in there. That's for sure. All right, grab this ammo because we're sitting on a pretty good ammo stock right now. If we can get a 9mm SMG, I feel like we're in really good shape. What did I just pick up right there? I didn't look at it. Uh, was that a red key card that we just picked up? Okay. All right. Uh, we got a 9mm auto rifle or an SMG. We advanced to level three. Okay. I'm going to go with another level of Hellrunner right here. Actually, I'm going to take Sustained Fire since we found like a Uzi down here. I'm going to take the Uzi and that's what we're going to be running from now on instead of the pistol. What are we looking at here? What do we have going on? Any bad guys around? Some bullets inside of there and we found one of the exits. I think that's where we came from right there. I'd like to sweep for another enemy or two, but I don't see him around here, so I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead, and we're going to cut upwards this way. Yeah, I'll take some healing. Uh, this room is, like, shockingly dangerous, though. I'm 
I'm sort of tempted to take the auto rifle too. But I think we're going to go full SMG spec this time around. Just see what we can get done with the Mac Billy. Alright, so top left. We haven't seen this area yet, so it's possible there's still something rattling around. Actually doesn't look like it. I think we're pretty clear. Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything crazy going on. Alright, fair enough. Uh, let's head back, and I don't know if I want to take the green elevator or the blue elevator. It looks like this one goes to Callisto Rift. I don't think I've played that level before, so let's go to Callisto Rift and see what's up with that. There's a foul stench in the air. I'd assume so. I don't think demons are big on bodily health. Probably should have dipped into cover for that. It's probably risky for me to stand out in the open and just spray and pray. Uh, I will take the ammos, but... Ooh, I don't like being on this ledge. I like it when I have, like, a space I can duck into. Reload the blicky real fast. Another imp right there. That's okay. Oh! Okay, alright. Yeah, there's a decent amount of imps over here. Oh god. Okay, so now we have like big problems. And I've run out of road here. Okay, we hit level four. That's probably good. I'm probably going to need it. Uh, we can be angry MF. So it makes us, or no, what does this do? Sustain fire. Uh, you get a 50% bonus damage. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go Hellrunner for right now. Because I sort of feel like that's the only thing that's going to keep me alive. I'm going to go medkit. Not gonna lie, this is not a good look running away. This is not befitting of this is not befitting of Doom Guy. Ooh, I can't believe we pulled that out. Good lord. Yeah, let me get adrenaline real fast. Give me a little bit of health back. It looks like there's a really good weapon right here. What is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to look at it. So this thing has finisher five and zombie bane on it, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm going to swap it out for the pistol that I have. We are going to take a damage cut right there. But I am curious how this varies from the last thing that we had. So we've got the AV2 combat pistol. It's got bonus damage against enemies below 50% health. And then it's really, really good against zombies. We're not really up against zombies right now. But I do think it's worth holding on to. Let me get my SMG out. There's a med box right here, which is actually fortuitously timed because we need that really badly. Anything around here? Okay, I've already cleared that area. Nothing inside this little cubby back here either. Um, let's go over into the right, I guess. We haven't cleared this area yet. There's a door right here, maybe? Let's see if I can go along the bottom. Okay, so I need a key card in order to get in there. Yep, give it to him, bro. Give it to him. Where do you think that key card's at? Probably in here, right? There's a key card, a smoke grenade, a pipe wrench, and a multi-tool. I'll take the multi-tool. So there is a securely locked... I don't know if we found it on the last level. You can access the recon here. Let's go ahead and reveal it real fast. Maybe the vault was the purple thing up there. Like Maybe that's what we're looking at. Ooh, there's giblets down here. Yeah, it looks like that worked. A Cortec Technical Station. We can repair our armor. We can create a mod pack. We can dismantle an item. We can extract a multi-tool. Let's make an accuracy pack. Yeah, that sounds good. My armor's pretty shredded, too, so I'll fix that. I think I can take this over here. And, like, does this have mod slots right here? It does have five mod slots. So, like, I think there's a good chance here... All right, so there's our mod pack. We're going to use this on our SMG.
We'll go point blank since it's going to be a close range weapon. All right, so we're good right there. Now we just got to find our way on out of this ghoulish place. It seems fine to me. Let's go through here. We barely survived that last level. I gave it my best shot, but man, what are you going to do sometimes? They really tried to dogpile up on me. Okay, I like this corridor. Sweep it and clear it. Sweep it and clear it. A frag grenade. There we go. Oh, I'm all out of inventory space. Okay, I might have to make like a little, you know, a little pile of stuff around somewhere like a squirrel. I hear them, but I don't see them. Ah, oh, right after I fixed my armor. Yeah, you get out of the way real fast. It does look like these guys are running up on me. There we go. Give them a little bit of this and that. Those were zombies, so I probably should have used the pistol on them. Uh, I'm going to go with some extra HP. Extra HP sounded like a decent choice to me. There we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right, he's down. Let me swap out the armor real quick. Grab this ammo for sure, because we just went through mad ammo right there. Nice. Perfect cover for what I was trying to do. What's this gun right here? Let's take a look at it. A combat pistol. There's nine impact. It's got three mod slots on it. Okay. Oh, this man is smoking me right now. I think I just got to be closer. There we go. Nice. What's up with this AV-1 9mm rifle right here? I would consider picking this up if it's good. So it's got 8 impact. Give it a 3 shot burst. It's best at 4 range. So the one up there is optimal at two, and it can fire out to six. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like this is a better option for right now. Like we got, we got to do what we got to do. Like I just, I don't feel like the SMG is working for me right now. It sucks because it has a mod on it. If I was playing the engineer, I could reclaim that a bit. But look at that, dude. We're smoking them from way further away now. All right. Well, I'll work on it. Ooh, a green med kit. All right. Let me clear out my inventory. Okay, so we're back on the road again. We got a little bit of inventory space. Apparently, there's a sick weapon right here. What is it? So it's 12 impact. It's got a range of 3 to 6. Okay. Swap time. Oh, it's got so much critical chance and stuff on it. Crit damage, reload time. It's got a smaller magazine and no, mads, or and, and no mod spots, though. I'll swap it out for the shotgun because why not? I mean... Oh, it's a 44... So it fires 44 Magnum. Hold on, I dumped a bunch of 44 Magnum on the ground over here. This might actually be a good weapon to swap into when we don't have ammo for the rifle. I mean, it's got a cool. It's purple, which like everything in life has taught me that if a weapon is purple in a video game, that means it's epic. And so like we gotta have that. All right, let's keep trucking out this way. It looks like we have found the elevator and we have found the exit. I don't think that's my way out. I think that was my way in. All right, let's go back over to the right. Okay, Callisto Rift 3. We've got a pretty good run going right now. Normally I'm dead before this, so it's going pretty good. Smoke grenade, 9 milli. Take the 9 milli for show. We got rockets right there. Oh, man. Well, I got to pick those up just in case we find a rocket launcher. I mean, it's Doom, so there's a pretty good chance at some point they're going to give us some kind of, like, rocket launcher. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's completely and totally unfounded to assume that I can get a rocket launcher. Uh, we can heal ourselves. We can extract a med kit. Yeah, I'll probably... Oh, or I can increase my health. Do it. It only increased it by five. Feels bad. I don't have any multi-tools, so I can't charge it up. Might have been better to take the consumables, but 
I got all these red key cards, and I have no idea what I'm doing with all these red key cards. I have so many of them. I'm going to run a stim pack real fast just to clear that out for that. And then what I can do is I can charge this with a multi-tool, and then I can heal myself. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Well, you know, the healing was ultimately for nothing, but I suppose that's life. Uh, we got no ammo left for the 44, so we got to swap on over to the auto rifle. Luckily, we are positively swimming in bullets for the auto rifle. I don't even know if I'm hitting that right there. That dude was hitting me like a damn truck, though. A power mod pack. Probably make a gun hit a little bit harder. I'd definitely be interested in slotting that onto something. Mm. I still hear them over there, but I'm going to put this power mod on real fast onto our auto rifle. So we can go with long shot, bonus damage against enemies range 5+, plus, or bonus damage against high tier enemies. I'll just go with that one. It seems more multi-purpose. And I'm kind of one of those people that, like, hedges my bets. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, a brave man. You know. Just, like, we don't have to go for, like, a stock. We can just go for, like, an ETF. You know what I mean? All right. So, let's see. All right. Not stoked about taking that damage right there. Are any of these any good? I'll just take the bullets. Let me get them bullets. Let me get them bullets out here. All right, so we got some bullets. I'm going to go to the rift, I think. We've got two locations we can actively go to. I haven't decided which one I like best. What is this one right here? Callisto level six. Let's change uh, floor tiles. We've been on this floor tile for a while. Let's change to a different floor tile. Wait, didn't I pick up a multi-tool? Oh, I didn't. Okay, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, this place looks kind of uh, dangerous. I don't like these out-of-cover walkaways it keeps putting me in. They make me feel very, very worried about my safety. I'm going to come up on this wall over here. Oh! The Gunslinger. Ooh, they missed all their shots. Good for me. Bad for them. Alright. We seem to be doing a pretty good job at dodging most of what they're throwing at us. Now, this level is going to be an ammo sink, though, so keep that in mind. None of these imps... Yeah, I was going to say, none of these imps, like, drop any form of ammo or whatever. I'm going up for another... I mean, the dodge strategy seems to be working. So, like, I'm going for the dodge strategy. We got bunker storage around here. All right. Well, let's see if we can find that. That sounds cool as hell. I would love to get into a bunker, especially if it's got, like, something cool inside of it, like a rocket launcher. It's fucking locked. Okay. Yep, drop him before he gets anywhere straight. Okay. Am I poisoned or something? I feel like I was taking damage after the hit. All right, bunker airlock's open. Let me heal now rather than later. It just feels smart to heal now. Like, if we get in over our head, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot. So this is open now. Any demons locked inside of here? Nope, but there's security bots. Shot a couple times, but we're okay. What are those? AV2 tactical visors? What does a tack visor do? I've actually not seen that item. What does that do? Let's see here. We get an aim action bonus, and it increases our critical chance, but that's at the expense of armor. Okay, but we can mod it, which is kind of cool. That guy dropped missiles. We got an AV2 9mm right there. We've also got an upgraded shotgun over here. It's got a four-shot magazine. I gotta swap it for the SMG. Like, we haven't even been able to use the SMG this far. Uh, we got an AV1 shotgun amplifier. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good bunker right there. That's a bunker that I'm pleased with. Swap out my armor, make it a little bit stronger. 
Combat pistols. I'm not really stoked. Is there like something secret right here? Oh, that goes to Callisto 6. Gotcha. So we pick up right where we left off. Uh, with the auto shotgun? What kind of mods and stuff does this have on it? Does it have anything good? So it's got flat damage increase and then a bonus damage after a kill. 34 slash damage. Optimal at 3. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Yeah, let's go check these other doors real fast to see what they sort of lead to. Like, I knew you were back there, but, like, I couldn't decide on a way to broach that door without getting smacked. Like, I absolutely knew dude was back there, but, like, I just, you know, didn't know how to dig him out of his cubby hole without taking a hit. I think this might have actually been, like, a bonus level or something. Let's just take this elevator. I don't want to walk all the way over there. I'm lazy. Also, I want that 9mm. Let me get it. Let me get it. But, yeah, this is Jupiter Hell. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this game is fantastic. I have, like, no complaints about it. And the developer keeps adding, like, more mechanics and more, like, moving parts, which I think is super rad. And so, anyways, if you are into roguelikes, this may be the game to check out. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. That's, that's worrisome. Is it dead? Need to reload. Oh, this thing only reloads one shell per push. Gotcha. It seems pretty strong, though. Like, it definitely seems to be... <gasps> Is that a minigun, dude? That's a minigun right there. We, we gotta... Dude, we, we gotta pick that up. I don't know what kind of ammo it uses, but... Oh, it penetrates. Die, please. Thank you. Adrenaline it up. I don't even know what ammo this thing uses. Probably like 5.56 five, or something. Kind of a gun that I haven't seen. So pretty excited about that, that we caught it on camera. And then again, I don't really get to play games in my free time altogether that much. So like, kind of is what it is. I try to do like a little bit of recon before I play stuff on the channel for sure. But other than that, I don't really get to dive into things very often. Just of my own free volition. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. This is Jupiter Hell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a roguelike fan, this is definitely a rad ass roguelike. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. This is a sweet ass roguelike. It is balls to the wall. It's edgy. It's got profanity and all that kind of fun stuff. Just in case that's what you're into. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. I'll be back with something hot and fresh Damn. off the indie skillet tomorrow. But for now, that's pretty much all I got for you. Bye-bye, everybody. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it.